Hazrat Zakaria Islam was cut apart. That was the incident of Hazrat Zakaria Islam's death. So the more we learn from the story is fearing Allah always gives us a reward. So as you know, now it's a time for attribute to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. was very good in fear dealing. Even before the prophetic mission, people were impressed by seeing his fear dealing. Before he, before he got his revelation, he already had on two titles. One was Sal and the other one was Amin. First he was very good in fear dealing. Second Sal, he never used to speak a lie. Even if a person is a genius, even if he was a jack of all trades, he will not be a good person unless he is good in fear dealing. Abdullah bin Masood, may Allah be pleased with him, reports that a person who gets an unlawful property, even if he does charity on it and he leaves something behind it, he will, that action will not be accepted and he will be indeed thrown into the hellfire. So let's take an example. So let's say you are in a market, you have needed onions. So you go to an onion shop, those are very fresh onions, but you don't know what's the thing behind. You too take those in the shop. When you go and you see that those are rotten onions. That is an act of feeding. That was a short even mistake that you the good act. So the more we learn from the attribute is we should be fair in our dealing, business and trading. And we should always do fair dealing and not give wrong matches like the people of Hazrat Shoaib Islam did. And they got a torment. And the second thing is even if you are doing a, even if you do charity on unlawful thing, Allah will not accept your actions, and He might throw you in the hellfire. And the third, even if you are jack of all trades, so genius, you have to check on your fear dealing. If you are not fear dealing, if you don't do fear dealing, then what happened? You aren't a good person. So it's a time for healthy Ramadan food. one of the thousand bounties. We should thank Allah for the little things, the plants, the animals, the ecosystem, and even the food, the water, and even the oxygen we breathe. We should be thankful for our hands, our eyes, our ears, and our legs, and all every organ. And we should also be thankful to Allah for this Ramadan. And remember, if you want to increase something, gratitude is the key. If you want to see Ramadan next year, then thank Allah also for this Ramadan and also for the next Ramadan. And also, you should also attain our goals with Taqwa. As it's mentioned in Surah Bakra, verse number 183, that's the one, that's a man goal in this month. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. And time for today's quiz. Today's quiz is, what was the incident of the death of Hazrat Zakriya Islam? I'll be waiting for your answers and feedbacks. And if you want to see more videos, go to my website zidaham.com or even log into my Facebook page. Jazakallahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.